All right, today we are going to show you how to make your own custom LUTs or lookup tables so you can colorize your footage in editing programs like Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. What LUTs allow you to do is get a general colorized look across your footage. Now you may have noticed that this video looks a little bit drab. Why? Because we haven't done any color correction and we haven't applied any LUTs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a still image, move that over to Photoshop, create the look that we want, and then of course make our LUT, which we can utilize to put across all the footage that we have in Final Cut Pro, this kind of color profile. So with just a quick, this is the color that we're looking for. And the nice thing about LUTs is you can create different looks, whether you want to go for a look like the Joker movie or the Matrix or what other feature film or just your own general color vibe, this is the way to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro. We're going to take a look through our video and find a frame that we like. Clicking this button, we're gonna bring up the menu and we're gonna save current frame. So what that's gonna do is we're gonna save the current frame as a JPEG so we can bring it into Final Cut Pro to edit the colors the way that we want. So we're gonna export that as Office JPEG. And of course we're going to click next. We're gonna save it. It's called Office. And now we're gonna jump over to Photoshop. So we now take that photo and we import it into Photoshop. And what we are going to do is add some adjustment layers to manipulate how the photo looks and ultimately create our LUT so that it can manipulate the footage to look exactly like how we are editing it here in Photoshop. So the first one I'm gonna throw on is an adjustment layer for brightness and contrast. Of course, if you've seen my work, you know that I like to pump up the contrast a great deal. And of course, after that, we are going to move on to vibrancy. We want to get those colors bumped up and we're going to mess with that a little bit. And a lot of this is just by feel. You know, you want to get it to a point where you feel it looks good. You may have wanted to stop at this point. You can move forward. It doesn't matter. It is all a matter of choice. And you can create multiple LUTs to use for different footages and different feels. I like where that is. So now we are going to move on to the color balance and I'm going to, you know, try to bump up the colors a little bit. You have to be careful here because you can really throw your footage off kilter. I want to bump up that orange a bit. I'm going to have to counteract that a bit as well with greens and blues to ensure that, you know, we don't get too red in the face per se. Uh, once I am done here with the midtones, I will jump over to the highlights, do the same thing. And you can see when we move the red slider here that, you know, my face does take on that red. So we do have to counteract that. One thing I will mention as well is that when we're doing this, you want to make sure that you go into the image menu, uh, select mode, and that you are changing things in RGB 8-bit in order for this to work as a LUT export. So again, you can, you know, sort of fiddle with your color colors, get it to a point where you like, and I'm kind of digging where this is right now. Now let's jump to levels. And again, I'm going to probably crush the blacks a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. We're just going to move it over and you can play with curves however you want to go. If you edited a lot of photographs, this process will be very, very familiar to you and how you go about it. So I'm going to crush that a bit. I'm also going to drop this slider a little bit to get a little more contrasty color. Again, I like the contrast and this is looking good to me. I just kind of want it a little bit dark and I feel that is not too bad. And I think that's where we want to be. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go up. We're going to export. We're going to select color lookup table. Click that. And we're going to make sure that cube is selected. That's what we want for our color lookup table. We want to export it as a cube. And from there, we're just going to click OK. And 
are going to name our LUT office and then just quickly save. So that is it. Now we're going to quickly jump back over to Final Cut Pro. So in Final Cut Pro, what we're going to do is we're going to go to color and we're going to select custom LUT and we're going to apply it to the clip. We're going to use the drop down menu. We're going to choose custom LUT. We export it to the desktop. So all you have to do is import the office cube that we just created, open that and it will apply it automatically. And you can see instantly that the footage is colorized to the settings that we have. And if you look at the original log, there is the difference. Now to add it to another clip, it is just as easy. We add the custom LUT. This time when we hit the drop down, you can see office is right there. So we're just gonna select that and it automatically colorizes our footage to what we had set up. So that's it. That's how you make your LUTs. It is that simple. I'm going to put together a small LUT pack for you guys. The link will be down below in the video. You can download that and use those for free. So you can check those out over on my website. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, let me know if you have made your own LUTs or show me some video where you've utilized the LUTs that I've given away for free. And until next time, see ya.